Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Claire Online Gale here. Claire Online Gale here, back at it with another video. And without further ado, here, let's get into the video. So, where we left off, we were just about to head home to our good old pups and sleep because June is exhausted and Affinity is terrible. I mean, Affinity is terrible. We gotta get a gri grip on that. But, um, June's gonna spend a bit of time with his pups get affinity up or at least try to um and then he's gonna sleep hopefully double just so you know he can get his wakefulness up two of the pups are already 20 pounds we're just waiting on mostly griffin and banshee which it'll probably take only like three more sleeps to get them to their designated weight so if we can get away with it i feel like we might triple sleep which i feel like he would i feel like being this tired he would triple sleep and i feel like he doesn't really care about ter territory right now so that's probably what we're gonna do this is also wednesday's episode and filmed on a saturday okay Yeah, we're just gonna triple sleep. Hopefully that'll get the pups to 20 pounds. And Bane, um, and Kelpie just recovered, which is awesome. Awesome, we got Kelpie healthy again. That territory t can decay. I mean, he's been waiting for it to decay anyways. So, and now we got another sick pup. Who is it? Banshee. Banshee, I think, has also already been sick. Hmm. I don't know. I'd have to go look back at footage, and if it's not on camera, then I really don't know. Um. Which sucks. Yeah, it won't take that long to get them up to 20 pounds. And of course, Crevice Lake is the people, it's the wolves that took that territory. I was actually hoping it was going to be Prospect Peak. Right now, I'm kind of rooting for them to get back their territory. But, at least for June's wolves. Although, yeah, I kind of want them to start claiming back some of, like, fight back against Crevice Lake. Because if they were to fight back against Crevice Lake, they would stop digging into his territory. Which would honestly just be awesome. Okay, Griffin. So I feel like what we're gonna do is we're gonna take Maple with us. We're gonna, like... There we go. Oh, we're gonna go fix some of that territory and hopefully find some food for them. Although, all I'm really smelling right now Harpy, 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 hurry. Oh my god, Harpy. Um, I see the dust. They're coming from this way. I swear to goodness, it's Prospect Peak. Okay, it's just Junction Peak. Um, I forgot about his chunks that he can't attack unless he's attacking first, but when it comes to his pups, he can attack first. There's different rules that when it comes to these challenges, and... For, the, for some of them, it becomes very difficult to remember the different rules. Okay. But knowing him, I feel like he's going to go after food. Because he's hungry, and he can tell Maple's hungry. And he doesn't want her eating the pup's food because the pups need that. Especially right now. 
So he's gonna get food for him and his mate, and then they're gonna probably, he's probably gonna head over to that 50% hit. Um, fix that. And then we'll see what happens. And I'm currently smelling a random item. My best guess is it's probably the teddy bear. down here location number three I guess for such a straw hat because I only I knew there was one up on the map and I knew there was one by um, a tree den by the gra um, in the gravel fan and then I also knew that was the One of the things that, uh, one of Mabel's traits is that she loves, and this isn't a trait that I've given her, it's a trait just about her. She loves, and I mean loves, elk cow, cows. Like, she loves elk cows. It's one of her favorite foods. So, they're gonna eat up. They're probably gonna have to hunt another one, but. Yeah, she ate it all. So, they're gonna have to go after another one, but June does not mind as long as he keeps his mate happy. He's happy. So. Got one. There we go. even though there isn't really a point because scavengers are definitely going to finish this off because it is a quick, easy snake. I mean, him and Maple devoured that first carcass, so... 
and scavengers will definitely devour this one, so. But, I mean, like, just that single chunk like, took up half a lot of the already deceased elk cap. Anyways, um, that just got real dark real fast. Is this Thursday's episode? Hang on, let me check. Let me check. Y'all, I just gotta remember a real quick one, two, three. No, this is Wednesday's episode. We do still have that elk carcass up there, and I completely forgot about it. But then again, June, knowing that his mate prefers elk calves, I feel like that's why he would go after an elk calf instead of just going to a carcass. June also knows that Maple prefers fresher food. It's, it's a trait because I realize when, it, when we take her to older carcasses, she is more reluctant to eating, but when it's fresh, she digs in right away. These are just traits that I've actually picked up on Maple. Like, apparently it's just... Of course, June notices the most random stuff about his mate. But he can't remember. <laughs> Ran but he can't remember anything else. He just remembers random specific facts about his mate, but he can't remember, like, dens or something. Hmm. He's kind of sort of just like me. Only pays attentions, <laughs> attention to things that interest him. why <laughs> I can't with myself sometimes okay um but yeah definitely like one more sleep and all the pups will be pounds whoa, whoa. so then after the pups are 20 pounds if we don't have any injuries which neither of us do at the moment so let's cross our fingers that we don't get any at the very last moment because if we do we will be stuck in summer until our injuries heal which who knows how long that is going to take so because of this June is going to be extra cautious. Extra cautious. This. So. He's not going to get into any unnecessary fights with anything, so if it's if it's two wolves against one, he's just gonna back out. But if it's one against one, he will happily fight them. Stuff like that. So. We're just gonna quickly head home. And by quickly, I mean as fast as we can. June isn't that fast. <laughs> he can't run as fast compared to some of his other siblings who have, like, pluses to speed. Or even his pup. 
Double Junk Jump Beat Wolves. Let's probably come our attack. Like, unlike, um, even his son, Black Fire, who actually has a plus two to speed. So, um, his mate actually has a plus one to speed, and then his father had a plus one to speed, so they both got plus one to speed. So, and, um, I've learned that, I've realized that some of the stats that have happened, like some stats in the pack, whether it be from Luna, or from June, from Maple, from Soul, from any of our previous wolves, from any of our wolves or their mates, it, they, there are some recessive genes going on with some of those stats. So, I think having his mate, who already had a plus one to speed, and then his father, who also had a plus one to speed, and like, and having that one being a dominant gene, I'm guessing, and one being a recessive gene, which means it's not apparent. So, dominant mean, which means it's, um, it appears more often, and recessive meaning it's basically a, like, pull of a, like, draw of a hat, basically. Um, ha having a dominant speed gene and a recessive speed gene, um, I feel like that's how Blackfire did get his plus one speed. Because I would have to go back and look at other pups, but I'm pretty sure a lot of these, some of these wolves did have plus one speed like pluses to one like plus one speed so i don't know i'd have to go back and check but i'm almost 100 percent sure that a lot of them did have at least a plus to speed or a plus to one of their stats that i do know for a fact that they did not get from june um apparently june isn't afraid of moose he just walked past a full bull moose like nothing happened like nothing Yeah, I'm definitely smelling the stranger wolves from the attack that we had. Um, anyways, June's just gonna head home and get some rest. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. They're both 19.7 pounds, which means they're gonna be 20 as soon as they grow up. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. And we still got seven minutes left. So, we'll definitely get to spend some time in the deep snow if we have any territory to boost. Why don't we jump ahead into the next year? Oh my goodness, this is so exciting. And they did finish their elk calf. Griffin, no, 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 Griffin, 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 come back here, boy. You're one of the only boys we had in this litter. I can't, oh, wait, no, you're the only boy we had in this litter. I can't risk you getting hurt or lost. Oh, my gosh. These children are going to be the death of me. the howl scene seriously griffin <laughs> oh mother hacker okay well looks like jumping ahead to the next year is gonna have to wait because we are gonna have to fight some prospect peak wars for territory
Now this is one of the moments where he would bring his mate along. I know for a fact. Because June does know his strength, strengths and weaknesses. And he does know that he's not stronger than Prospect Peak. He knows he is weaker. He knows he is going to need his mate's help. Which is why he's bringing her along. Anyways. When we get back, we're going to have to sleep again to get our little griffin to 20 pounds because I can't with Prospect Peak, oh my gosh. <laughs> Prospect Peak is just one of those packs that drives me insane. June doesn't care. Luna would though. June doesn't. Because he's supposed to have at least 28 hexes. And he's currently got at 27. So he has got to go fight with some prospect peoples. This is the same hex that I have taken over and over and over again. And I just... Ooh, oh my gosh. I've taken it like three times now. I think this is number three. Okay. one way to make June angry. And he is not having it today. No siree. He's gonna go there and he's gonna fight for his territory. No matter how much bloodshed there is. Actually he's gonna be have he's gonna have to be very careful because if we get one injury we're gonna be stuck here for a little longer. It's only at 3%, so if he can claim it really fast, and if he can get there even faster, which is actually pretty close, but less time they have to boost it. Okay, June, you gotta run. Just run, boy, run. Run, boy, run. This world is not meant for you. Run, boy, run. They're trying to catch you. Run, boy, run. Running into victory. Run, boy, run. Sorry, that song just randomly popped into my head. Thank you. Okay. He's gonna need all the energy he can get for this. But then again, he's also just cooking. Okay, wait, one owl will do it. Fingers crossed. Oh, this could be bad. Oh my god. If y'all can feel my heart beating right now, ooh, my heart is beating so fast. Okay, come on, June, you got this. You got this, June, you got this, you got this, you got this. Mabel, be careful. Don't try and fight the bison. Okay. June is so close. He's almost there. Oh my gosh. I feel like this is just bringing back, like, very bad memories that happened earlier this year. To him, at least. Um... Where he nearly got killed trying to take back this hex. Like twice, I think. Um, and it was three against two. This is why I cannot wait for the saga. Oh, 
and looks like it's time to end it off here. But if you guys like this video, then you might like others. Make sure you give this video a good old pause up and subscribe. Also, make sure you hit that bell notification so that way you don't miss any single time that I upload. I really do hope you enjoy. Make sure you leave a comment down below. I'll see you in the next one, and bye guys!